25 Reasons Why People Are Still Hating King Charles III If you think you know the reasons why everybody is still hating King Charles, then you probably don't know these 25 reasons, which we are going to tell you now. Here are the 25 reasons why people are still hating King Charles III. Number 25. The Controversy on His Philanthropic Nature We all know that King Charles is known for his philanthropy. However, his acts of kindness have seen their bad days. This was evident during an incident where one of the chief executives of King Charles Charities, Michael Fawcett, resigned after he was accused of promising a billionaire Saudi donor a knighthood. This was one of the scandals that brought out a weakness of King Charles. Many who saw him at this time saw that he had a lack of judgment. Also, not many people were around him to give him advice. Additionally, the advisors of the charity had second thoughts about the actions of Michael Fawcett. But it seems like King Charles wasn't happy with him leaving. This left many wondering if he was capable of making good decisions. Number 24. People doubt that he will be a good leader. Many British citizens were worried about Charles' ability to rule after Elizabeth II's death. He has not been the best role model. People also feared that he would not rise to the occasion because the position of reigning monarch was not one to be taken lightly. But now that he is king, people's feelings have changed, and he has a chance to disprove those who had doubted him before. Number 23. His careless attitude when he was with Princess Diana. Before Charles went to sea, he was in love with Camilla. But when she married a cavalry officer, their relationship was over before it could even begin. However, it was at the same time that he found himself dating Diana's older sister. Three years later, Charles and Diana got engaged, which shocked many. Also, when their engagement news went around the media, a reporter inquired about whether they were in love. Diana responded immediately, of course. However, Charles responded, whatever in love means. And I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> whatever in love means. Yes. Diana later stated that Charles' comments absolutely traumatized me and threw me completely despite her giggles at the response. Even then, there were indications that this wasn't really meant to be. Charles married Lady Diana Spencer, then 20 years old, in 1981, when he was 32 years old. On July 21, 1981, their wedding was watched by 750 million people on television, and another 600,000 people lined the streets around St. Paul's Cathedral. The wedding was portrayed as a contemporary fairy tale, but this was never the case. According to reports, Charles only made the proposal after his father issued an ultimatum. Diana insisted later that at the time, they were practically strangers. In 1992, Diana broke the news that her husband was having an extramarital affair with his childhood sweetheart, Camilla Parker Bowles, and the couple split up. When asked in 1994 if he had been unfaithful, Charles accepted it. Yes, he added, until it became evident that the marriage had irreparably broken down. Diana straightforwardly faulted Charles' cheating for the appalling finish to their marriage. It was a little crowded because there were three of us in the marriage, she stated. Number 2. His Sneaky Ways to Earn Donations Most recently, Charles was involved in a row over donations to his charities. Charles is said to have accepted a one million pound payment from Osama bin Laden's family. He got the money from his brother Shafiq and Bakir bin Laden, the wealthy Saudi family patriarch. They are Osama bin Laden's half-brothers and the ones behind the 9-11 attacks and Al-Qaeda. On October 30th, 2013, Charles and Baker reportedly met at Clarence House in London just two years after Laden was killed by U.S. Special Forces in Pakistan. In June of this year, 
It was also reported that Charles received donations to his charitable fund totaling 3 million euros from Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jaber Al Thani, the Prime Minister of Qatar, between the years of 2011 and 2015. The king was heavily criticized for both incidents, despite the fact that the payments were not illegal. Number 21. Influishing the British policy when he certainly has no part to play. Additionally, Charles was accused of attempting to influence British policy. In 2015, it was made public that Charles and the Queen had received secret documents regarding the workings of the British government that no elected ministers had ever seen. Graham Smith, the CEO of Republic stated, The disclosure of cabinet papers to Prince Charles is quite extraordinary, not only because they would include highly classified information, but also because it gives him a significant advantage when lobbying ministers to advance his own agenda. He is, in essence, a minister who does not attend cabinet. He gets the desk work and has the private gatherings with pastors about strategy. As a result, Charles had greater access to authoritative information on a variety of subjects than the elected state ministers. The British monarchy's official website states, there is no established constitutional role for the heir to the throne, despite Clarence House's claims that the information was sent to Charles as part of his constitutional role as heir to the throne. Number 20. The Shocking Revelation of the Panama Papers The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, ICIJ, released the Paradise Papers in 2017, a follow-up to the Panama Papers. King Charles was involved in this controversy as well. Among those who had hidden their wealth and secure tax havens, his name came up. It was alleged that Charles had benefited financially from his opposition to climate change. However, the monarchy's office denied the secret investment claims. Number 19. For being ignorant while greeting presidential candidates. When Charles shook hands with Robert Mugabe, the dictator and president of Zimbabwe in 2005, he made a diplomatic error. The incident occurred one day before Charles wed Camilla and occurring during Pope John Paul II's funeral. It was controversial because the EU had banned Mugabe at the time from rigging parliamentary elections. Even though he was prohibited from traveling, he went to the Pope's funeral anyway. Charles' motion was viewed as not entirely reasonable. The Prince of Wales was caught by surprise and was in no position to avoid shaking Mr. Mugabe's hand, his spokesperson had stated in front of him. Additionally, Charles was said to have backed the Zimbabwe Defense and Aid Fund, which opposed Mugabe's regime, according to Clarence House. Number 18. For not considering Harry's feelings. Shortly after Prince Harry married Meghan Markle and moved to California, they quit their jobs as working royals. Since then, they have made uglier accusations against the royal family. Harry lays the blame on his father, claiming that he believed his son should suffer similarly to him, thereby perpetuating a cycle of genetic pain and suffering. Additionally, Charles does not get along well with his younger brother, Prince Andrew, who was a potential threat to the continuation of the monarchy due to his connections to the late friend and pedophile Jeffrey Epstein and his madam, British heiress, Ghislaine Maxwell. Charles even demanded that he be deposed of his titles and royal duties. Number 17. For being unfaithful to the people's princess. Before marrying the current queen consort, Camilla Parker Bowles in 2005, Charles was previously married to Princess Diana, the people's princess, as she was known when they were still together. Royals are often forced to do things they do not want to do, simply due to the position they hold. And while Charles may not have wanted to marry Diana initially, he agreed to it, understanding that it was something he had to do as prince. Therefore, the fact that he was unfaithful to her and then later admitted to it publicly shows a startling lack of character whatever the reasons behind it. Number 16. 
he didn't react to Princess Diana's death. A group of paparazzi set up camp outside the Hotel Ritz in Paris on August 30, 1997, with the intention of photographing Diana and her boyfriend, Dodi Fayed, following her divorce from Charles. The driver lost control and crashed into the Ponte de la Alma tunnel as the paparazzi pursued their vehicle. Diana passed away in the hospital on August 31, 1997. The grounds in front of Diana's Kensington Palace residence were carpeted with floral arrangements, many of which included personal notes. Charles, however, and the royal family were notably silent at this point. They even refused to lower the flag over Buckingham Palace to half-mast. There was no immediate public appearance. Later, Charles stated that their silence and refusal to speak with the media were meant to safeguard his sons, William and Harry, so that they would not have to deal with the media immediately following the death of their mother. Even though this is commendable, it does not explain why Charles and the other royals have not spoken out about Diana's tragic death. Number 15. His charities have made people hate him. Charles supports and runs a number of charities for a variety of causes that he believes in. This is one of his more likable features because it shows that he is generous and empathetic towards those who are much less fortunate than him. However, even in the midst of his charitable activities, Charles has managed to make people hate him. A UK media outlet reported that he allegedly accepted three million pounds from the former Prime Minister of Qatar, Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabir Al Thani. To make matters worse, the donation was apparently handed over to the prince in the form of cash in three suitcases, each containing a million pounds. The liquid state of money only increased the scrutiny of this event. Number 14. He makes racist comments without consideration. When the British media reported in 2009 that Charles' wife Camilla and his older son Prince William had given one of their friends the nickname Sudi, Charles became embroiled in a racism scandal. They regularly played polo with the wealthy Indian property developer Colleen Dillon. After another race fight, Prince Harry was caught on camera calling a former Pakistani military officer with whom he served, Paki. Both of these things happened at the same time, which caused a lot of debate about the royals' racist tendencies and made many British people lose respect for them. Number 13. He prefers doing things his way. When Charles declined an invitation to the farewell banquet that was served at the Chinese embassy in 1999, he caused a conflict by disrespecting Jiang Zemin, the president of China at the time. Regarding the incident, Charles, who was well known for his admiration of the Dalai Lama, stated that the way the Chinese government had treated the Dalai Lama at the time made him want nothing to do with the president. His absence from the banquet was even more notable because many other members of the royal family, including Princess Alexandra, the Duke of Kent, Queen Elizabeth, the Duke of Edinburgh, and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, were present at the official banquet. Number 12. He disregards Meghan Markle. The majority of people are aware of the reasons for Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, resigned from their positions and titles as monarchs. In their tell-all interview with Oprah, they revealed a lot about the royal family's dark side that the public did not get to see. Markle acknowledged in the interview that a member of the royal family had criticized her for her skin color, but she did not specifically mention Charles. However, in the book Brothers and Wives by Christopher Anderson, inside the confidential existences of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan, the individual was recognized as Charles himself. Charles seems to have asked Camilla what Harry and Meghan's child would look like. When Camilla replied, gorgeous of course, Charles made it clear by asking, I mean, what do you think the complexion of their children will be like? Number 11. He relies on old school's unscientific practices. Charles's strong support for non-scientific alternative therapies like homeopathy 
is one of the most significant criticisms against him. He has been accused of influencing the National Health Service, NHS, to increase funding for these pseudoscientific practices, which diverts resources for more effective medical procedures. During COVID, Charles came under a lot of scrutiny for interviewing the NHS and promoting these methods that weren't scientific. He was criticized by medical professionals around the world and the British for using his position and authority to promote these methods rather than actually helping people. Number 10. He likes to think he can do anything. As a constitutional monarchy, the British royal family is not permitted to participate in the actual process of governing and forming the nation's policies. Charles, however, has never actually adhered to this. In 2015, a progression of letters he had composed was uncovered, known as the Black Spider Memos. There was advice on a variety of subjects in these 27 letters, 10 of which were confirmed to have been written by Charles himself, including agriculture, Northern Ireland, and a great deal more. These letters were sent to high-ranking UK government officials, including Tony Blair, the former Prime Minister. These letters caused a lot of controversies, because they showed that Charles wanted to use his power and position to interfere and influence matters he shouldn't have, even before he became king. Number 9. His Contrasting Consciousness Charles makes a great show in trying to display that he is charitable and environmentally conscious and tries to help the less fortunate. However, he has also faced a lot of criticism for his extravagant and lavish lifestyle. Despite token gestures such as driving an Aston Martin that runs on biofuel and his work with multiple charities, including his own, Charles still lives a life of luxury that most of us can only dream of. According to Marsa, the current King of England has six homes on his estate, 11 secretaries, a large staff of servants, a fleet of expensive cars, and an annual salary of 17 million pounds. Number 8. Most don't really want him to be king. Prince Charles is the longest serving heir apparent in British history. But since more private details about his marriage to Diana, Princess of Wales, became public, he hasn't been very popular with people. A 2018 poll found that the man who was next in line for the throne is getting less popular. While a recent express poll found that people would rather see other royals take over. We know it's harsh, but there's a reason for it. Number 7. No one likes to call Camilla the Queen. Additionally, only 20% of respondents to the MBG research survey believe Camilla should be crowned queen. People may also feel less inclined to support King Charles as the reigning monarch now that he is married to the other woman. All things considered, despite the fact that most individuals could do without the possibility of a sovereign Camilla. According to The Guardian, the Duchess of Cornwall has won many people's hearts by working tirelessly and quietly for her charities. She is a private individual who takes steps to maintain her privacy whenever it is possible. Despite the fact that the relationship she is in has been the subject of unprecedented scrutiny. Number 6. His uncaring attitude isn't loathed by biographers. You will notice that King Charles is not exactly praised by biographers if you look through the majority of the best-selling books about the actual lives of the royals. People who have a good relationship with a then prince were quick to point out his flaws. For instance, the author of Rebel Prince, Tom Bauer, describes Charles as arrogant and uncaring when he causes harm. His private rants and tantrums have been made public, which has hurt his reputation even more. Number 5. Most think he doesn't know how to run the kingdom. A lot of Brits don't think Prince Charles would be a good king. People worry that Prince Charles doesn't have what it takes to take on the role of reigning monarch, which is not one to be taken lightly. It will be hard for people to support him if they don't believe he will do a good job, whether it's because of his personality traits, skills, or something else entirely. Number 4. He isn't really comfortable talking to. 
He lacks the warmth and likability of Princess Diana. He seems distant, and the New Yorker even called him a snob. Even though it might be unfair to compare King Charles to people who haven't been taught to value proper manners and protocol so much, the king doesn't always seem eager to connect with ordinary people. Sovereign William, then again, has contacted individuals much as his mom did, and he has a humane way about him. Number 3. He doesn't prefer talking about animal rights. While King Charles has taken a position on significant environmental issues such as climate change and sustainability, he has pathetically failed to address animal welfare issues. King Charles has gone so far as to describe fox hunting as romantic, in contrast to Prince Harry, who recently decided not to participate in a grouse hunt. Because animal rights are becoming a growing source of concern for Brits, he won't win any new supporters by sticking to his beliefs and speaking out about them. Number 2. No one really thinks he can overcome his past filled with controversies. Whether it's the British press or Charles' own scandals over the years, the more controversial or negative aspects of his life frequently get the spotlight. However, as previously stated, Charles has attempted to make a difference and do a lot of good for the United Kingdom. He has spent much of his adult life speaking out about the need to protect the environment, and he has given a lot of time to the numerous charities he started. However, these acts of kindness have been largely overlooked or glossed over. Number 1. He never really supported his sons during the royal succession. In England, people love the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children. In fact, a survey conducted in 2019 by BMG Research revealed that nearly half of the British public desired Charles to abdicate the throne and hand it over to his eldest son upon the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Kate Middleton and Prince William have been married for more than a decade. They are dubbed fairy tale by the Atlantic due to their picture-perfect family and the notable absence of scandals. The Evening Standard says that William and Harry are the most popular royals since records began. So it makes sense that people would want to see their favorite royal on the throne. Having said that, it's possible that Prince Harry's popularity has diminished since he and Meghan stepped back from their roles as royals. What do you think about these reasons? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching.